Hey y'all, I'm Deborah. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, this is my December late update for the Pan Me a Story Watson project. This project was to, um, is sponsored through the Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group. And for this project, we have prompts based on all of the Sherlock Holmes stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, so I'm just going to jump right on into it and pick up where we left off in November. So November, I had to uh, basically restart everything because I had finished everything that was currently in. I'm keeping five projects, five products in to make the project um, manageable. Um, okay, so first for the Adventure of the Sussex Vampire, that was something green. And for that, I brought in the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream, blah, 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 something or other. It is green. It is green. Um, it's okay. I can't tell that it really does anything. Not fond of the packaging because by the time you get your fingers down in there, it's more under your fingernails than you've got anywhere else. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, like I said, I don't know that it particularly does anything, but it doesn't hurt anything. Um, I have used this 12 times, um, so this is going to stay in. It's going to be in quite a while. It's one of those I may end up with a few more products than this because I've got a few that are going to be lasting a long time. All right, for the Adventure of the Naval Treaty, this was a crime that went on when somebody went out for coffee. So I brought in something coffee related. This is the MAC shade, MAC lipstick shade cream in your coffee. I am wearing it today. Um, it is probably one of the few b pinky browns, but uh, a brown that I use, that I wear. I tend to wear more pinks and plums. This is a, a beautiful pinky brown that I wear. I've brought it in here for 20 uses, and I have used it, my page flipped itself over, I have used it three times. So I have a long way to go on this one. There we go. All right, the third product is for the Adventure of the Retired Color Man, something you put on with a brush. Um, I For that, I have brought in this Becca Under Eye Color Corrector. Um, it's in the shade Fair Light. I have a good big dip in it. Uh, it's in here for 20 uses. I have used it six times. I still don't like it any better than I did when I started it. It's gunky. It's heavy. I just, I'm, I'm really disappointed because this is a lot of people's just standby holy grail color corrector and I just I can't find anything redeemable about it um, but I do have six 14 more uses maybe I will change my mind we'll see it, it has happened all right for the Boscombe Valley mystery something someone gave me um, I brought in this Amika hair mask um, it is empty Sephora gave it to me for my birthday. It is finished. Um, I liked it. It was it was nice. Would I spend that much money? Probably not. Um, but I would turn it down if somebody gifted me that. Hint, hint, any family who's watching. Um, for the Adventure of the Lion's Mane, I was looking for something science-themed. So I pulled in a the Supergoop Mineral Matte Screen, and I finished that completely. Will I buy this again? No. I've got matte, um, tinted matte uh, physical sunscreens that I like better that don't cost as much as that. So um, it's a good product. It it works. I really liked it, but. For the dollars, no, I can do. I've got other choices that I like just as well. Um, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. that's all five. So, two rollouts, the Super Goop Matte Screen and the Amika Hair Mask. So that means I get to bring in two. 
Um, the first story that I rolled was The Adventure of the Three Gables. Now, in this story, an elderly lady seeks Mr. Holmes' assistance because her she's had a son who was stationed at an embassy in, in Italy. Um, he came back heartbroken, sick to death, wrote a whole bunch of stuff, and died. And in getting, moving out of, you know, in her grieving process, someone came to find out if she'd be willing to sell her house. And she's now alone in the world, and she's got this big old house, and she said, yeah, that would be fine. I, I'm, I need to be, like to move into something smaller near the sea. Um, and, but it was, it were weird, weird things that, um, caveats that they had. She had to leave everything in the house and take nothing but her clothes. And she thought that was really weird. And then someone had broken into the house and push comes to shove. It turns out that her son had been jilted by a, an older woman. And he had actually written his memoirs about his relationship with this woman. And she had had someone trying to steal the uh, the the manuscript back. So I for that for this story I am bringing in something that is almost empty um, because it was about you know getting the house empty. Um, so I am bringing in a lipstick that I just rolled out of deck of panning. I am bringing in the uh, Lancome. Ruby, Rosewood Ruby, this beautiful pinky red, um, and it is to finish. That is literally all that is left of that, so I am hoping that won't take me too long. It is one of my favorite colors. Um, I don't think I'll have any trouble finishing that off. May take, well, it may take a little bit, but not, not too long. All right, so with the story Adventure of Abby Grange. So Abby Grange is, um, it's a murder story, um, but it's more than that. It's a, it's a, it's a love story as well. Um, Holmes and Watson are called by um, a police uh, inspector who they know and respect, and um, they are called to investigate the murder of a member of the nobility and this um, in the process um, they, they come and this guy's had his head bashed in with a poker his wife has been assaulted in the process she's got a great big goose egg on her but Holmes also notices that she has other bruises on her as well you know bruises in different stages of, of healing is you know one of those signs that in healthcare, we look and start thinking about, okay, is this someone who's really clumsy or is this someone who um, is a victim of abuse? Um, and it turns out in this case, this woman had been being abused by her husband. Um, she, They had been married not terribly long, a year or so. And she was from Australia. On her way over to England, she had met and fallen in love with a um, sailor on the ship. And he had, they had parted when she landed in England and he went his way, she went hers, she married. Um, and he had found out about her marriage and he had, you know, wished her well and said, you know, there's, there's no reason why you shouldn't marry into, um, wealth and society rather than settle yourself with me, a poor penniless sailor. Um, in the, the next time he came back through a year later, um, he had been promoted to be captain of his own ship. And so he decided he wanted to see her one more time, just to, just to lay eyes on her and see that she was a well, because he still carried this torch for her. Well, in the process, he arrives to find um, her husband, you know, mid-battering, um, has basically backhanded her. And in a fit of rage and trying to protect her, he um, 
they, he ends up killing the, the abusive husband. And they stage it to make it look like a robbery. Of course, that didn't hold up with Mr. Holmes for just but a minute before he realized this was not a robbery. This There was something else going on. So in the course of, at the end of the story, um, Holmes and Watson, um, the young man con uh, confesses to Holmes and Watson um, the, the truth of the events, and they actually allow him to go. And they said, as long as no one else gets blamed for this, we will keep your secret. Um, because we know you were just protecting the lady who was being you know, physically assaulted at the time. Um, so that's the story of Abby Grange. And so for that one, the, the prompt for that story is something that protects me. And for me, that is always sunscreen. I pan so much. I pan so much sunscreen all the time. Um, so I am bringing in my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. It's really hard to see in this light. Um, the silver on the white is just not ideal. Um, but Unseen Sunscreen and my goal, this, I haven't had this open very long, so it's going to take me a while to use this up. But my goal is to finish. All right, guys, that is the update, the complete update and caught up to date for um, Pan Me a Story. If you're interested in more stories, I am also starting to do more booktube kind of um, uh, content. I'm going to be talking about my TBR lists and books I've read, uh, what I want to read, what I did read, that sort of thing, and, and about some books in particular. Um, depending on what I have read that month. All right, guys, if you're interested in my kind of content, hit subscribe, hit notify, and I'll see you with the next video. Thanks. Bye.